Heiser. I bought a new lintels. So today I'm going to replace all one and uh, fix the wall and everything. So enjoy. to fall apart Lose myself and give my heart away Come and go in shady places mm -hmm. I used to sit and stare Now the light runs through my lashes It's taken 40 years, blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. I've removed the lintel, and it brings a lot of questions and problems. <laughs> Next problems. So, yeah, the lintel itself it's rotten and it was reused bulk and also uh, it's quite funny that in the middle it has hole uh, yeah, it has with holes with hole and it's in the place where uh, where the most pressure from the wall and uh, yeah it's it should be the strongest part of the lintel but right now it's the weakest one because I expect that with lintel sitting in the wall and I don't expect with arc here. I don't know why. But it yeah, but it has here is arc for half of the brick, it's like one brick, and here uh, we have like half of the brick which supports the floors but with floors have this direction like reinforcement and so on so it doesn't really support uh, yeah support the ceiling itself it, it just yeah integrated into wall and just support the wall so problem that i i thought that deep of this bulk like one brick like that and I don't expect for this part so and I cannot insert uh, the current lintel here I saw that it should be the strong 
really strong because it, it will support yeah, almost whole wall. But right now I see that uh, it's not like that. So with arc support a lot and with part supports only with part and it's like all pressure distributed blah 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 so the idea maybe i can put take with lintel cut it in half and put it just here to support with parts and with wall and i think it will be enough it has this reinforcement here 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 so if i cut it like that i think it will be enough to support yeah so let's do that And again, we need bricks to replace the section above the lintel. And Iliak has calculated that we need something around 100, 100 150 bricks. So we're gonna harvest them right now from this pile. Husbands. Every dance has its pace, interlace, intertwine now. You can't save time. Run along, kids. You two will be more than pets one day. Like the old fashioned way, give me that sweet love, those warm up and kisses. Oh, you are the love. In the previous video, where we removed their wooden panels and the in, uh, insulation from the windows, we mentioned that we would like to keep and restore these windows. Uh, some of you uh, noticed that the windows are not that old, and indeed, you are right. The windows are not the original ones. We think with Ilya that they were replaced somewhere around like 30 40 years ago. Uh, let me show you the state of the window right now. So you can see that they replaced the windows with a wooden, solid wood, really nice frame, still in a very good state. It just needs, yeah, to sand it and a couple of. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we are gonna finish them. And you can see as well that the seal seals needs to be renewed. Uh, the windows are also double glazed. You see? So uh, we like with Elia that they also, when they replaced them 40 years ago, let's say, they kept their rounded form. We see a lot that when people do these renovations, they um, just insert rectangular windows do not take in this rounded reveal or uh, yeah window reveal into account and yeah i know why they are doing that to save the money because this rounded thing will cost you sometimes a fortune but it yeah to, in my opinion it really matters and we were we are really glad that they kept this opening looks very nice when we were clearing out the shed in, uh, in our backyard, I guess we found the original windows that were put here in the beginning of the century. Let me show you. This is a pile of crappy wood that we have. Yeah, and the windows are here. Well, let me show you. This is... Oh, oh, it fell apart. 
<laughs> so cute. So here is the upper part of the window that was divided with this iron bar in the middle. And you can see, I guess, the windows were painted white. So maybe if we want to restore their original look, maybe we should paint the windows white. So this is the upper part, and you can see it was single glazed. Ah, here is still the glass. You see? The glass. Really thin one. <laughs> and this, I guess, was the lower part of the window that was opening. You see, it's completely rotten. Yeah. And it was also divided in the middle. Oh, I didn't pay attention in the beginning. So it was divided with an, with an iron bar in the middle as well. Hmm. Interesting. This is something new to consider because we were thinking about the colors, what we yeah, what we can choose for our windows. And there were actually two, just two options. Uh, just to sand the windows and keep them to cover with some colorless finish and to keep the natural wood exposed and the second option was to uh, yeah to paint it brown as they are right now but white was definitely not on the list maybe we should consider white paint as well what do you think
ago we asked you to donate to our PayPal account so we could help common people and soldiers on the front lines in Ukraine. Many many thanks for all your donations and for your help. I had some loves uh, reading your witty comments uh, to your donations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, we would like to give you a short update on uh, what your donations were spent on. We both lived in Kharkiv and we know a lot of people uh, whose life changed on the 24th of February and uh, many of these people became volunteers and helping them is the best. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe the most efficient way to help people directly. Yeah, to help people in need directly because yeah. all these volunteers are in direct contact with the people who are living there and who are yeah. Yeah. who needs help yeah. yeah and we want to introduce to you some of these volunteers that you were helping and supporting no you were helping and supporting ukrainian people we are these volunteers <laughs> <laughs> we are this is Alec and, and anna Alec is a musician actor uh, he was former uh, leader of one yeah former leader of the band well known in Kharkiv and Ukraine. Anna is facilitator. She helps uh, teams to organize work processes, uh, how to reach their goals. So when war started, they decided to stay in Kharkiv and help people. Oleg is focusing on, on helping the Ukrainian army and Anna is helping uh, civilian people with uh, medicine and food yeah they organized team a uh, small team who take care about uh, delivering food finding yeah. food yeah, yeah each uh, member of the yeah. team is responsible for a certain certain addresses in Kharkiv and also they have they call it large points where there are more like up to 150 it's people are living. It's shel shelters or yeah. subway station where there's a lot of people hiding from uh, strikes and bombing. Yeah, so in total they are helping 1,500 1, people a day with food and medicines. Medicines. Yeah. yeah, so and it's very challenging work. Yeah, I want to mention un Anna post about what she, uh, she is doing every day and about what decision she should make. So I put link to your uh, to sh her post below and in also, the description section. Yeah, yeah, and also I put link to my translation for English speaking audience. Yeah, please check. You also helped Stasia and Anton and their team. Uh, the story is romantic and a bit dramatic, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Anton is dentist and Stasia is a nurse who helps people uh, who has cancer. Uh, so when war started they immediately decided to stay in Kharkiv and help people with medicine, first aid and so on. And uh they organize a lot of people around with the time they yeah uh, with this time. the team the more and more people join them and yeah. they have like so, 150 I guess. yeah what? 150 what? volunteers in that Vol volunteers mosquitoes everywhere <laughs> yeah mosquito is here no <laughs> uh, uh, so the, uh, their team collecting requests for food, uh, medicine, as a need, clothes as well, clothes needs from people uh, who is shelters or yeah, subway shelters. Sta station or uh, um, living in their homes. Uh, and by the way, uh, they were the first couple that were one of the first couples that were married in the underground. During yeah, the war yeah, in it's, it's quite it's quite famous. It was in use, so uh, they have uh, site with short description about their wedding and about organization. We will also put a link yeah. in the description so you can read the full story. Yeah, but also they uh, don't mention in that story that few weeks, two weeks ago, when they deliver, uh, yeah, some requests to guys, Anton was on, 
uh, Anton was on the street he, and it was airstrike. He was injured by a small piece of metal. Yeah. It's small the, piece, but it was so yeah, yeah, pretty serious. And, so. and they, they have tourniquet to stop the blood, and it was long operation because uh, nerve and uh, vents was damaged. Uh, right now uh, he is recovering. Yeah, it's everything okay. If if it's possible to say like that, so we help directly tre Anton for um, to help him recover. Ah, uh, yeah, to recover, and yeah, also we help Stasia and uh, her team, <laughs> their team. Uh, so they can continue because they are helping both uh, those and uh, Alec and Anna and Stasia and Anton. They are helping on a regular basis and their teams. So they are, uh, yeah, every day they need to uh, deliver yeah, the food or oh, once in a few days deliver food, medicine and what other people need. Another story is about uh, a friend of Elias' friend, from Elias' friend. No, it, no, no, it's just friend of friend of my friend but yeah he is not really a volunteer yeah. Ilya just knows him Yurik uh, lives in Kharkiv and his uh, user interface and user experience designer uh, yeah a few years ago he started a workshop or small studio they do small wooden toys and also they do workshop for parents for kids and their parents where they can do with toys enjoy to from all some. kind of materials yeah. a really cool project and really inspiring what yeah, they actually so did in your small, small DIYs and right now uh, he also joined to the team it's a garage hub it's uh, like uh, open space and co-working space for people who want to yeah to do some DIY projects they have materials instruments and so on and also they help people to make their project it's totally different it's from board to chess uh, 3d printers chess board, yeah. yeah 3d printers and so on uh, when war started uh, he managed to leave Kharkiv on the first day and also help uh, his relatives to stay in a safe place. Uh, his friends joined Ukrainian army and yeah, they need some uh, supplies, some equipment and they asked uh, Yurik to help them. To help them to find? Yeah, to find and to, buy. It's buy. quite quite yeah. interesting situation. Army has all uh, required equipment but it's better to have some special equipment or uh, some more advanced, advanced stuff or some, will, yeah, some yeah, advanced yeah. stuff or some mm. sometimes it's some really stupid like socks or toothbrush and so on. he has big list of with needs and he or he many had. he had uh, he had a big, big list of his needs and he asked his friends, friends of the friends, friends, yeah, everybody to help to buy with stuff. He yeah, organized logistics and delivered that. So, and this is how all this uh, thing works. It's like, uh, I'm very proud how people organize, how they manage to get what everybody, yeah, what other people need. I'm really proud about Ukrainians. I'm really proud about you guys who help a lot us and every help uh, matters. It's, uh, uh, sometimes it feels like yeah, it doesn't matter. I just share with post or I just uh, send uh, some money, but it really matters. All small uh, things matters for help. Whether it's cooking, whether it's delivering something, helping to take care of a kid when the mother is doing her papers. So everything really matters and you shouldn't be shy. Uh, whatever you do is helping towards the, yeah, the victory. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And 
that we shared all these stories with you. We helped few more people and few more volunteers. And every story is unique. Every um, every person is unique. And but they all have just one in common. It's the war that changed their lives and our lives and your lives. And I hope that uh, very soon it will come to an end and we will win. We will all win. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for all your donations, yeah. for all your support. Yeah, everything really matters for us. So, mm -hmm. also, I put comment, uh, I put uh, Marina <laughs> put uh, links to guys' Instagrams and so on. You can just go and check, check, check. because they post a lot um, every day what they do on everyday basis and they post a lot of uh, photos and yeah. Um, what yeah what food they deliver where they deliver happy faces of people <laughs> so yeah if you are interested just check all the links some of them <laughs>